Hey guys, it's Mail Call time, and we got a bunch of comics to unbox. That's right, folks, today we have a bunch of comics in these boxes to unbox. Well, I say a bunch, it's not a bunch, it's probably, I think, two, one, four, about four in these boxes. And I got all these off of eBay. They came in yesterday and today. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox them all at one time. Now, I've been going a little crazy on eBay on these comics because I've been seeing some sweet deals. So I've been purchasing them. This one here, I don't believe is a, a CGC. What I did, I ordered, I think three CGCs and one that's not CGC. Now this is one that I missed a while back. Don't ask me how I missed it, <laughs> but I missed it. I think I was too much in the uh, fun codes and this one uh, got out of my radar, but I was able to pick him up on eBay. Let me show you guys what I got. This is a first appearance of someone. Well, they say it's a first appearance. Now, dang, my knife is not sharpened at all. I am not prepared. Sorry guys. My knife's not sharpened. <laughs> and this person put a lot of tape on it. Look, there's some pepper-rated stuff right here. Maybe I can use that. I can't. <laughs> yeah, look, there we go. I don't know if that's designed for that way, but uh, that's what I'm gonna do with it. Oh God, I hope I don't go mess it up. Now, I don't remember who I ordered this from. It's somebody out of New Jersey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I should have I should have been more prepared. Sorry guys. Let's get it open. Get on out of there, you. Alrighty. Come on. Oh wait, there's a receipt. So maybe there's they're gonna say who's it from? eBay seller. Oh, vintagevault.net is where I got it from. Vintagevault.net. So if you guys want to check out vintagevault.net, go ahead and check it out. Let's see. What we got? Here we go. Some more tape. Tape on top of tape on top of tape. On top of tape on top of tape. Why so much? Which I like a lot of tape. That way it doesn't get damaged. It stays put inside this protective sleeve. Protective sleeve. This protective uh, cardboard. Okay, maybe I could do like this. More tape. They didn't want this thing to move at all. <laughs> Which I guess is good. They got that old painter's tape on there. Oh, blue painter's tape. All right, folks. Ooh, sweet. I can't go too close because it's kind of dark up there. I'm gonna come back here because that's where my light's at. And the painter's tape stuck on my hand. Sorry, guys, I should be a little more prepared, but I'm not. Bam, check it out, folks. The Amazing Spider-Man 795. I was able to pick it up on eBay. Now, here's the deal. I know many of you guys are uh, Amazing Spider-Man collectors, but they are saying that the first Red Goblin supposed to be in this, first appearance of Red Goblin supposed to be in here. I'm guessing it's just a, like a cameo because some people are saying that the Red Goblin hasn't been shown yet. So I don't know, I haven't read this one yet, so I don't know if he's in here or not. But according to uh, the comic book price guys, this is the first appearance. Now, some people saying the first appearance is going to be in seven ninety nine. I mean, seven eighty nine or eight hundred. So seven ninety eight. I'm sorry, seven ninety eight or eight hundred uh, issue. But comic book price guy says seven ninety five is the first appearance of Red Goblin. If any of you guys know the story behind the Red Goblin, what one is his first appearance? Let me a comment below. Let's discuss it at the bottom so we can figure out when is really his first appearance. But it is a cool freaking cover, man. It is a cool cover. I'm guessing this is Alex Ross. I'm guessing it's an Alex Ross cover that looks like his artwork. I'm not quite sure. I'm not gonna take it out of the package right now. Now there is some spine wear I can see. So this is not gonna be a 9.8. I'm not a comic book grader, <laughs> but I do know about the spine wear. So I'm guessing this is not gonna be a 9.8, but it is still a cool looking cover. The edges are all together. All right, let me move right along because I know you guys wanna see what I have in here. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and open up this one. This one came to my house. Now what I notice is when they come to my house, the boxes come in a good condition. Now this one came to my house also, but I wasn't home and the person uh, made me do a signature. 
so it had to go back to the uh, post office i had to go to the post office to pick it up and i noticed it was kind of sad they squeezed it <laughs> they squeezed it right there which shouldn't cause any damage so let's go ahead and open up this one first this one came from somebody in new york <laughs> i don't want to get a person's name out his name is dan <laughs> i'm not gonna give his last name okay let's see what we can get with this dull ass knife i wish these things had a little thing that you can open it like that but they don't they do not all right come on out of there i don't remember how much i paid for this i don't even remember what it is that's all i know it was cgc and I'm sure it's Spider-Man related, knowing me. Whoa, what was that? Oh, just some little paper, I guess. Alrighty, folks. Bubble wrap, he put it in the bubble wrap. Way to go, y'all know I like it in the bubble wrap. Oh gosh, we got some bubble wrap. Oh, we got a lot of bubble wrap. Come on, take, get on off of that. All right, here we go, folks. Which one did I get? You guys know what I got. It's gonna be Spider-Man. Come on. Oh, there's different colors. Oh, blam. Check it out, folks. Check it out. It's the number one Amazing Spider-Man. I think this is volume four, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it doesn't say on the box. I mean, on the, on the thing. It should be volume four. But it's the variant cover, number one, from the uh, comic exclusive, which is pretty cool. And I think this is a, yeah, J. Scott, J. Scott Campbell cover. Look at that, folks. Awesome looking cover. And this one is great at a 9.8. 9.8, pretty cool. I like this cover. And I must've got it for a good deal. How much did I pay for this? I wanna say 40 bucks, 41 bucks, which is not bad for a variant, a J. Scott Campbell exclusive variant. That's not bad. Yeah, I want to say it was 41 bucks. Not bad at all. I remember what I paid for this. I'm not going to forget what I paid for this. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm happy that I was able to get this for that price. This year, I paid $31. $31 for two CGC. CGC. <laughs> Comics. Check this out, folks. There better be two in here. <laughs> and this came from, uh, that's another person, Joseph, somebody in Pennsylvania. So this came all the way from Pennsylvania to Louisiana. Two, whoa, he put some peanuts in there. So we got peanuts and we got it all over the place. <laughs> and my wife hates when I put peanuts on the floor. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at my two CGC comic books I got for 30 bucks on ebay.com. All right, they got the bubble wrap. Yes, Lord, the bubble wrap. <laughs> oh, we got the tape. Here comes the tape and the separation. Y'all see him, the Spider-Man. So if, if I paid 31 bucks for these two CGC. This is a 9.6 Amazing Spider-Man. Oh, it's in a bag. Check it out, folks. The, the uh, variant. Check it out. Now, this is Dynamic Forces variant of Amazing Spider-Man number one. Pretty cool. So like I was getting ready to say, if I paid $31 for two, that means I got this for $15.50. <laughs> that is not bad. It costs like 20 something bucks just to get a CGC, you to send it off. So I got this at a good deal. Check it out, folks. A 9.6 Amazing Spider-Man number one. And that is a Dynamic Forces edition. And the other one was a Dynamic Forces edition too. They came together. All right, come on out of there, you. Oh, check it out. Here's the second one, Silk. Check it out, folks. A Silk number one variant. Now this is, to me, this is Spider-Man related. <laughs> Check it out. And that one also is a 9.6 and I paid, you can say $15.50. That is a freaking steal. And I'm just getting into these CGC comics. I mean comics, these CGC uh, protectors. 
that you haven't graded and placed in. So check it out, folks. I got one, two, and my third one is right here. And they put it in the, in the, in the uh, protective paper. I like that. So it's covered. So that's what I wanted to show you guys, these three and my amazing Spider-Man 785 that we are not, not sure if it's really the Red Goblin's first appearance. So that is it for this episode of Out of the Box. Till the next episode, I'll see you guys later. This one came in this week and it's a CG it's a CGC comic. It's one that was graded and it's, uh, let me start that over, okay? I really need to write a script, man. But I ain't got time for a script. I just roll like that. That's all right, folks. Today we are unboxing two comic books.